Okay, look at this thing. Yo, she's crazy. Hey, aren't you on bags? Yes. Slam it, let me see, slam it. <laughs> That's cool. All right. Oh, look at that. That's sick right there. Hey, let me see those doors go up. Sick. <laughs> How you doing, man? Good, man. Justin. Look at this thing. This thing's badass. A lot of you guys have asked questions. Is one roll enough to wrap a wide body car? Well, here it is. We got a four door wide body car with a wing. I'm going to show you how to do the whole thing with one roll of 60 feet. What is it? It's a 2017 Toyota Corolla SE. Corolla SE. Yep. Dang. Okay, we're going to start naming off what you got done with this. <laughs> okay. Too much, huh? So, basically, we'll start it in the engine. Okay. Um, Dude, this is sick. OEM engine. Just took off the plastic valve cover cover. Uh -huh. Replaced all the engine bolts. Um, engine technology, cold air intake. Let me pop this. Yeah, let me pop this hood. Dude, you just cut a hole on your hood. This looks actually really you know, all good. All the Hondas, you know, they make them with the carbon fibers uh -huh. and the clear see-through. But I just said, you know what? I'm going to do my own. Yeah, hell yeah. That's what we're talking about right there. Dang! Look at all this chrome. Hey, I like this wiring. Yeah, the wire loom, the chrome wire loom. I... Up all the other stuff. I'm going to have to copy you on this one. All right. <laughs> Yeah, <laughs> this is sick, dude. Um, replaced all the silicone hoses to HPS performance uh -huh. silicone hoses. Uh, made myself a custom uh, what's that glass plexiglass uh, battery box. Battery box, so okay. it covers up all my wires, all my everything. Where did you get the? Um, I went to th these pieces. Tap plastics. Tap plastics. They just Shot got like yeah, reflective. You, yeah, mirror. Mirror finish plastic. Mm -hmm. That's sick. So. Um, made that, that nice. myself and then they actually this is polycarbonate they made that too uh-huh gave them the dimensions and everything and and know, they just cut the piece out for they you cut just the piece like that. out and they uh dilled, drilled the holes for me uh -huh. um told them how many individual holes i wanted and then just brought it home lined it up put it in and this is really actually very durable against heat and everything of course okay. it's, it's motorcycle windshield oh so okay. instead of instead of motorcycle plexiglass, windshield. instead of plexiglass it's uh -huh. um and then i did clear bra over it that's tight. I'm gonna have to copy this too. So, <laughs> I'm, uh, I'm, I'm stealing all of his ideas right now. Yeah. Okay, I like that. You paying the alternator? Yeah, I got a custom alternator for. Um, I have a competition sound system in here too. Oh shit! So it's. So it's, you so you slamming beats too? Yes. Dang, yes. this is tight. Did all these doors go up? Every, yep. That one all right, let me, let me see. We're gonna we're gonna show this. Okay, so all you gotta do is pull it, and then right. lift. Oh snap! But this one goes up too, right? Uh, that one does not. Okay, so, just the front ones. So when it's so when it's aired out. Oh, you can't even open it when it's no, aired out. Weird. So let me roll the window. What happens? Um, it's that the tires push up on uh -huh. the body kit. Oh, okay, and it kind of get kind of just yeah. pinches it. I see. I see. Oh, okay. Then you air it up a little bit. So that is my competition sound system. Um, I built that back seat myself. Um, just took out the OEM seat. Okay. Um, and just made it out of uh, that looks cool. Plywood, yeah. Got the fabric um, and those old school antique little buttons. And then you just button it on there. Yeah, I just hammered them in. That's sick. And that looks actually really nice. And then this box holds two twelves. One twelve. One twelve. Twenty eight hundred watts. Twenty eight hundred watts. RMS. Okay. What has he got in the trunk? Let's see. Oh snap! Oh, you got the. You got the Tire King logo, my man Mo right here. You guys know Tire King. Oh, he's got the, the ropes. This is a sick, little, little dude. little VIP style with it. <laughs> you know, had to throw some VIP in there. I like this. Yeah. I, I got to do this to some of my, uh, my cars. Like my flooring has like deteriorate, deteriorated, yeah. like the stock one. I got so. this floor. You get a you get a sheet of 10 from Home Depot for 46 bucks. Okay, and then you just cut it to shape. Yep, cut it to shape and then, and then you just. In. Yeah, this is just flooring, huh? Mm -hmm. That's tight. Mm -hmm. That's his. That's his tank for his bags. These are these are interesting. He's got struts right here. So this is for. What are these What are these things for? They push my uh, trunk up. 
Oh, okay. So remember how people used to do door hinges, the swing door hinge on the trunk? No. Have you ever seen those? I've never seen that. All right, we're gonna we're gonna it's some trickery here. So you got some pins you're undoing. Yep. Okay. And then I have a, a switch by my foot. That. Oh snap! Okay, so these these things make the trunk go back. Yep. And then when I have my trunk prop. That's tight. So then when I have my trunk prop. Yeah. It just sits. It just sits like just that. Just like that. Why? Just because just it just looks interesting. <laughs> you know, just for show. Oh, because you could see that, and yep. then this would be horizontal, and you still have your wing on top. Yep. So we just kind of mock it up there. Hold that real quick. So it's gonna look like that at the show. So gangster. <laughs> your body kit. This is actually made for the Corolla. Correct. Okay. And then you got rib nuts on there. That's good. I can take these off easily. I'm just gonna wrap like down to here. That's fine. Okay. So I'm gonna take it off. Wrap the panel, the remaining portions that are extra, I'm gonna wrap the kit pieces with. Are these supposed to be kind of like raised? Yeah, that's uh, they have inch, inch spacers in there. Okay, so this is intentional, guys. So this is what some people do to let some of the hot air out. Yes. Is that correct? Correct. Okay, yeah, I've never seen that before until like this last two years or so. Yeah. People started doing this. I'm like, why, why is their hood looking I guess like that? the old school, like Chevys and uh, Fords like that used to have it to uh -huh. where it would be up. Oh, okay. So on the Slightly raised. Yeah. So these are Kansai wheels. Are they? Yes. I've never seen this design before. I kind of like this. And then your rotors, they're honeycomb. Where do you get this? Look at um, that. Adam's rotors. Um, he's actually one of my really close buddies. So it's a honeycomb pattern? Yep. So it's all, drill, you know, kind of like you do custom drill and slotted. Yeah. You can do any design that you want on them. Oh, does that affect the performance at all? No, it actually uh, reduces brake dust and everything. Oh, snap. Yeah. Okay. I'm going to have to try that. These wheels are sick. I, I kind of want these wheels too. What size are these? Uh, those are 10 and a half. 10 and a half in the back? Yep. And then 10 and a half in the front, but I did an inch and a half spacer to make it out to 12. Okay. And then an inch spacer to make it out to 11 and a half. An inch and a half in the back spacer. Yep. And then a, an inch in the front. To make it 11 and a half. 11 and a half and 12. 12. So, okay, so 10 and a half. Okay. That's what I should do then. I, I don't want to commit to like a 12 yeah, wheel. That's, you know, <laughs> yeah. Because that's a lot of commitment. He's on 235 18s stretched. Looking good. All right, here is his color. This color has actually been posted on the website for a while now. This is the antique black gold. You can get this at paradoxstyling.com or you can go on Paradox Wraps to see all of my other sick colors. But this one is like a, it's not quite like the uh, other black golds that you see that people have. This is like a lighter shade of gold. Um, it, it, it looks antique. -y. What do you think? I'm obsessed. <laughs> so I actually was like, do you want this really deep black gold or do you want this kind of like faded, more faded antique yeah, look? Yeah, faded antique look. Would okay, be so you're like the first one to do this. I don't remember anyone else ordering this color. Really? Someone has done the the uh, the matte version of this mm -hmm. on a Mustang. Okay. Somewhere in the East Coast. He didn't send me very good pictures, but I don't think anyone has done this and sent me pictures of it yet. So we're going to call you the first because if it didn't happen on YouTube, it didn't happen. Dude, this color is wild. Yeah, it's amazing. All right, so it's black at an angle, kind of like a blackish gray. If you look at an angle and yeah. then it's really gold up front. Yeah. So that's kind of That's going to be some head turners That's right kind of crazy, especially on this thing. Oh, dude, are we doing the whole car in this or? Yeah. Okay, the whole thing except the mirrors. Yep. Okay.
even with a wide body piece, you still got to do it this way. Stop doing the sides and the hood and the roof and the trunk and then leaving the bumpers for last. And you're going to mess up somewhere around here because you didn't cut it out like this. And you're going to keep crying to me about how you ran on material and you want another 28 feet or whatever so you can do the bumpers. No, you need to do this whole thing in one roll and this is how. What you gotta do is, I'm cutting a foot extra on that end there, okay? So this is where the front door ends. There's a foot extra over here. This back piece is long enough to cover this back corner. Right now it's a little short, okay? But I compensated for that by cutting it way up here. See that? This is where the door ends. So even if I pull that back a little bit, I still have enough to cover the whole quarter panel. This piece up top right here, this was cut off the top so that I can come down and do the side skirt. If you don't do this, you won't have material for the side skirt. The quarter panel gets cut out straight, okay? You can always bend this at the top to make it come down. This piece right here, comes right out of the window. This can be used for a wing or something. Uh, you can use it for this duckbill right here, okay? And then this door, because the, bo the door ends, because the door ends here, you gotta have to cut extra up front so you can slide it back. That will cover the door. This whole bunch of material right here, I could have made this even shorter. This slides back that way, does that door. There you go. That's how you do the sides. You guys have no idea how often people message me about the fact that they don't have enough material. It's because they didn't cut this out like this and they did the doors separately from the quarter panel. The doors need to come out of the corner panel no matter what. Okay. That's how you'll have enough material to do both bumpers because you're going to split another big piece in half. One half's going to do this bumper, another half's going to do the back bumper. The rest goes up top. And then finally, remember there are wide body pieces. So this piece, you see where those holes are? You're gonna cut it off. Let's see. Okay, so the holes right here, you're gonna cut it off right about here. And this whole big chunk right here, where you cut off where the holes are, is gonna move up so that you can do the wide body piece on the back with this piece. Now, if you didn't plan out this back wide body piece very good and you're short on material once you cut that off, you can always use this front piece here that's super extra and move it back there. But you got to keep the same direction, okay? That end needs to face that way.
If you made it to this portion of the video, this is where I show you how badly I messed up. This is where I messed up right here. I did the door, okay? Looks all nice, did the over fender, and then guess what happened? Right there. <laughs> For some reason, I thought the over fender went all the way down past the door, but it ended right here, so. To fix that, I would have to just put a patch piece there, which looks terrible, and no one wants to pay you big money to have a little patch piece right here. Don't do that. You're gonna have to peel this off if you make this mistake, and then redo the door. So because I messed up on that door, I made sure I rolled out what's left and pre-cut all of my remaining panels, just to make sure before I commit to redoing that door. If you are wrapping for people and you mess up and you ran out of material, it is on you as the wrapper to order more material or work out some kind of deal with them, take money off of their final job, whatever it is, and cover your mistake, okay? It is not the customer's fault that you could not cut out and measure correctly according to this guide. This back bumper is covered from there to there because I split the front bumper and the back bumper. So this was a big piece that was five feet tall. I split it in half. That's the back bumper piece. And that's why it's very important that you do the whole car all the way around. Front bumper, both sides, and the back bumper, and any attachment pieces if you have a wide body car before you do the roof, the trunk, and the hood. I know what I'm doing. So I did the hood first. If you follow what I just said, if you happen to mess up on the bumper piece, you can use the top pieces to redo the bumper again. And then you can always buy some black, six feet of black or six feet of carbon or whatever it is that you need. And then just do it with just that partial piece with just the six foot. These rolls only come in 60 feet because they are machine cut at the factory. And I cannot get you less or more. You work with the 60 feet.
Okay, here we are. It's under the cover and he is here. Dude, this car was uh, kind of hard. Really? I, I almost ran out of material. So I, I literally did a guide on how to wrap any car with five by 60 feet yeah. and a wide body. I get questions about that all the time. So we're gonna get his reaction right now. All right, here we go. Pull the cover. Oh my God. Whoa. That's insane. No. This is my car? <laughs> Hell yeah, dude. What? How's that look? That is phenomenal. <laughs> this goes with that. It does. Wow. Look at that. Very antique gold. And the windows, the, the tint offsets it and everything. Yeah. That's insane. That's. How long has it been since your car is one color? Shoot, a year? <laughs> a year? <laughs> yeah. Dude, this looks so good. This is amazing. The first one to do this color on the channel. In fact, probably in Northern California. I, I don't remember anyone ordering this. <laughs> they might now. <laughs> it's a, uh, it's, it's above my expectations. Yeah, no, this is, this is, if I can give it a 10, it's an 11. Ooh. Yeah, this is beautiful. You're gonna be stunting at this show, this bro. This beautiful. Hell yeah. So the wing right here, yeah. I did the underside black. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So you can't even really tell. Yeah. That's the only part that I did black. Um, the front right here. This is done a whole bunch of pieces. So um, instead of trying to push into here, yep. there's a seam that runs this way. Yep. So this piece is a totally separate piece. That's fine. This connects down there. Yeah. Okay. Oh, she looking good. That's beautiful. I like how it has almost like a, that Nardo in it. It kind of does. It has that like that gray shift to mm -hmm. it from right here. Yes, yes. It's like a gray gold. Oof. Here we go. The airbag's going up. That's just so cool. Oh, I think I need bags on one of the carts. <laughs> there you go. One last look here. Alright guys, that's it for this video. If you want this color, you know where to get it. ParadoxStyling.com. This is the antique black gold. I'll link the description of this at the uh, on the description box below. Where are you normally out of? Sacramento? Uh, Cameron Park, California. Okay, Cameron Park. Oh, okay, you're up in up on 50. Yep. Okay. Alright, hey, if you guys want if you guys see this car rolling around, tag us in the comments and let us know on Instagram that you've seen this. And let us know how good this looks in person. So once again. Give this a try yourself. It is not that hard. If you follow this guy, then you have a wide body car. Actually, it is kind of hard. <laughs> because if you mess up any, if you mess up on any piece at all, it will run short and you will have to get another roll. So be very careful. You have a wide body car. Make sure you save every scrap. All right, let's get you rolling out of here. So until next time, guys, like, comment, subscribe. We'll catch you guys later. Okay. Man, that was good. All right, 
Brother, looking good!